Whether this is your first time to figure out how to get your VoIP phone from your office to work at your home, or you're a seasoned pro looking for best practices, stick around while I show you how to use the single port view injectors. Tyler Andrews here from PUE Texas, and I'm going to show you how to install your single port PUE injector. We want to see you get the most out of your PUE Texas injector, so let us show you how it works. Power over Ethernet means you send power and data to a device, like a VoIP phone, using one Ethernet cable. You simply plug the Ethernet cable into your phone, and you're done. An injector is a very simple device that takes your data stream on the Ethernet cable and adds power for a device like a phone or Wi-Fi access point. PUE Texas has multiple models of PUE injectors, so you can pick the right model that works best for you. Let's check out your options. The all-in-one. This is our custom design and most compact, simple solution. You can use it when you just want to have one device you plug into an outlet near your Ethernet port. Conventional. If you use PoE injectors, this one is our most conventional model. It comes with an AC cable you can run to your injector so you can install it where you'd like. This two-piece model gives you flexibility to plug in the power adapter into the wall, then mount a smaller injector wherever you need it. In the end, all of these injectors accomplish the same task of adding power to your Ethernet line. The difference only comes in the form factor and how you install it. A PUE power device, like a VoIP phone or Wi-Fi access point. You'll want to double check that it's PUE powered before you plug it in. Ethernet cables. You want to pick cables long enough to connect to your data and your devices. What type do you need? You could certainly use CAT5e or CAT6. However, CAT5 works great if this is what you have. Mounting screws for the GPOE 1B if that's the model you use. Pick which AC outlet fits your application and it's close enough to your Ethernet line. Plug the injector into the outlet. Plug the Ethernet cable from your data source, like a switch or router, into the LAN port. Plug the Ethernet cable from your PoE device into the PoE port and watch it power on. A quick note here, not all devices are PoE powered, so make sure to connect your injector only to PoE powered devices. There's no configuration required. Your device will run as long as it has power. It's that simple to set up your PoE injector. Don't forget to like or subscribe so you can keep up with the latest on PoE Texas innovations. You can also find us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram. Leave comments for us and tell us what you'd like to see us do with PoE. By the way, there are times you may find a different PoE Texas device can do a special job or can be used when you can't find a normal PoE injector. Check out our other videos about cool PoE Texas products to see how they can help you. See you all next time.